hello guys in this video i'm gonna talk about how you can fix the unable to connect to the data center please check your internet connection and try again in this video we gonna fix this issue currently the issue is arise when you are able to get inside the warzone mobile and you just used to play it and it showed this kind of error mostly this error is occur only when you are trying to play battle royale map multiplayer you can play easily but this error is arising for those who wanna enjoy the br warzone mobile so in this video everything will be shown step by step first of all connect to the vpn and just log into your account as shown on your screen then just go there and click on the settings button after that go to your accounts and in the account section on the top right corner log out and you will see this kind of login screen now as soon as you get this kind of login screen close your game then just turn off your vpn and yes you have to initially connect to the vpn and logging to your game after that turn off your vpn and restart the game itself as soon as you restart your game you don't need vpn so this is one of the trick that you can play warzone well without needing the vpn but actually you require vpn to log in the game for the first time so in this way then you just need to log in all of your credential after that and and and, and one more point i guess many people will skip it you need to turn on your two factor authentication for doing this trick yeah this trick required two factor authentication now for those who haven't unlocked or haven't just set up their two factor authentication there are many videos on youtube you can just check it through that how to enable two factor authentication on your call of duty mobile account that you will see the status waiting for the data center or letting you online just keep or have your patient and remember that i am not using vpn right now and i will show you the proof so you can play the warzone mobile by this trick without using a vpn as many people are not able to get free vpn and i will show you that you can see on the bar i have not connected to any kind of vpn and as soon as you click on the play you will see your game has been connected you will not get that unable to connect to data center error and game has been officially started now the disadvantage of this trick so initially the first time you need to connect the vpn now whenever you are playing them so if you just close the game and your game crashes you need to repeat the step again yes you need to connect to the vpn after that just log out from the game after that again log in so this is a way from like this is a very haptic way so you need to do it again and repeat from step one to step three so i guess this is the disadvantage but yeah you can play it without vpn you still need a vpn to log in or access to your main lobby so it's just like you need a 50 50 vpn scenario the next biggest issue people are facing they are stuck on that shadow preloader or like they are just waiting for that guys you need to change your vpn if you are facing that issue and you are stuck on that select or the types of player you are just you need to change your vpn the next question we have the black screen issue so it's just depending on your device and antenna list also on your vpn so what you can do is you can clear the cache of your vpn as well as your warzone well after that restart your game and you will see the black screen will be gone and this is a current warning from your favorite youtuber please don't download any kind of obb or app from third party website of warzone mobile if your device is not supporting please only download through the play store because and only because the warzone mobile size is very heavy and you know what rog3 is not able to handle it i am getting literally 5 to 19 fps and almost 100 gpu is used by the game i cannot even like I cannot even record properly the game is lagging but still the game is on a alpha stage not even in the beta stage so still they need to more and improve it and i think the final version will be better so that's all for today's video let me just wrap it out make sure to follow that trick and i hope your issue will be fixed and one more thing if you face any kind of issue you can just comment down below i will try to reply as soon as possible and also you can tag me on instagram as well as on twitter or my social handle i will definitely reply to all of your problems so till then stay safe and guys please keep enjoy watching while safely and protect your devices don't do some kind of see things